Hello everyone, it's Prajul Patak this side and you're watching my YouTube channel PyGuru. Friends, this is your fourth tutorial in game development series with Python and PyGame. And here we are building the car racing 2D game, okay? So by the end of the last tutorial, we were able to create few things in our game like this moving road or car and we were able to make our car move, okay? In this tutorial, we are going to add the incoming cars, okay? So there are three types of obstacles that we'll be adding in our game. The first obstacle, let me just show you, okay? The first obstacle will be simply our cars, incoming cars, okay, uh, it's inside the assets folder, you can see there are 8 types of cars and they will be incoming from above towards the downward side, okay. Then there are two more in a obstacles that is this barrel and there's this one uh, roadblock, okay. So if a car is colliding with any of these, the game gets over. So we have to implement these things in our game and it's very easy to implement if you have followed uh, till the last tutorial okay for this we are just going to implement our new class so class player let's just use obstacle class so we'll be using a single class for all three types of obstacle so obstacle and again i'm just going to use pygame.sprite.sprite .sprite. once you inherit from this class you automatically get few features which are written inside this class like you can destroy the objects you can check for collision detection lots of things okay so we'll be learning about the collision detection in an upcoming tutorial don't worry about it so depth in it and then we have to the first argument is always self and then we will take argument type okay this type will be integer value whose value can be one two or three if it's one we will choose a car if it's two we will choose a barrel and if it's three we will choose the roadblock okay so it's easy the concept remains same for everything, uh, every obstacle. So let's just initialize the super class, so super obstacle, and here we have to type self dot init. Okay, so this will initialize initialize the pi game sprite class. Okay, so init. Now the next thing that we need to do is uh, we are going to check. First of all, I'm just going to store this in a variable self dot type equals type okay so i'm just going to store it in a variable then here we can check if type is equal to one then we have to load a car okay so see now we have eight types of cars so we are just going to randomly use any of the cars so c type this is a new variable c type equals just choose a random uh, value between one to eight because we have eight type of cars we can select any of this randomly random here we have to pass one comma eight and the next thing is uh, let's just load this image so self dot image and here we have to type pygame dot sprite dot sorry pygame dot image dot load and here we need to pass the path so we are going to use the f strings for this inside the assets folder then the cars we have the image so cars slash here we have a number so ta c type here c type dot png so this is the path for our car we have loaded a car now we have to resize it uh, but before resizing it see our car currently is in uh, the car is currently in the forward direction if i just click it uh, let me just save it here and if i just run this game okay so this car as you can see it's facing toward the upward side okay the car that we want as enemy or obstacle, it will move toward the downward side. So we have to flip this car, okay, so that it can see toward the downward side. Okay, we have to just flip this car. So let's see how can we flip images in Pygame. It's very easy. Just type self dot image. So for this we have a method Pygame dot transform dot flip. Okay. Now it takes an image which you want to flip. So self dot image. And then you have to pass two two values. If you want to flip in the horizontal direction, then you have to pass true. But we don't want to flip in the horizontal direction, so we'll just pass false. For vertic vertical direction, we'll pass true. Okay, so it will just flip our car in vertical direction, up upward down. Okay, upside down you can say. Then we just need to resize it. Self dot image equals pygame dot transform. Let me just copy this line. Paste it. Paste it here. So we don't need these things. Uh, we have the method called scale. Here it's a cell dot image, and then a new width and height. 
तो मैं नेम विथ एंड हाइट विल भी सिंपली फोर्टी एट कॉमा एट्टी टू ओके सो लेट जस्ट यूज इट डू गुड ओके नाउ वी हैव टू डू द सेम थिंग फॉर टाइप इक्वल्स टू फॉर दिस वी हैव टू लोड अनदर इमेज इफ टाइप इज इक्वल टू टू देन लेट मी जस्ट कॉपी दिस लाइन्स पेस्ट इट हियर ओके Now here I don't want the clipping part, so let me just remove this line. Again, we don't need a f string here. We can directly load the image which is inside the assets. And for second car, we have to load the barrel dot png. So barrel dot png, and the new size will be twenty four comma thirty six. Twenty four comma thirty six. Okay. Now we have to do the same thing for type equals three, and for this we have to load a uh, Road block. So for this, let's just copy these two lines and paste it here. Okay. And the only thing we have to change here is this name. So it will be road block PNG, not barrel dot PNG. Road block dot PNG. Then we just need to change the size, and it will be fifty comma twenty five. Okay. It looks good. Finally, uh, we have loaded all the sprites for us for our game. Now all we have to do is we have to just generate the rect. So cell dot rect rect equals pi game dot image sorry uh, cell dot image dot get rect okay dot get rect okay now we need to uh, set its position so cell dot rect dot x now here is the important thing that I would to tell you okay so let me just comment this line. There's this important thing that I need to tell you, and if I just run this car, see there are four lanes in our game. I don't know what it to call it. You can call it four way or four lanes. Okay, so as you can see, this is the first lane. Okay, where my current car is. This is my first lane. This is the second lane. This is the third lane, and this is the fourth lane. Okay, so we have four lanes, and we want our incoming cars to be randomly coming from one of these four lanes. Okay. I don't want to make it come only in the one lane, so we have to think of some way by which we can make our car incoming in this one of these four lanes. Actually, it's very easy to uh, find out how to set up this. Just go here, and then we need to define a list here, and then we can simply call it lane position. So lane position, uh, you can just come here in the main dot py file, okay? and you can just try printing x comma y okay here it's already printing x comma y okay so let me just save this once and if i just run this game and if i click on this lanes so i if i have clicked here i have clicked here i have clicked here i have clicked here okay so and if i just come to get the graphical output you can see it is printing the x values for different lanes okay 56 98 147 197 so these are not the exact values Okay. Still, these are the x values for the lanes. We are just going to store these values in a lane in in a list called lane position. And the values will be fifty, comma ninety five, comma one forty two, comma one ninety. That's it. So these are the x values for the one of the four lanes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to randomly select one of these values, and set it as the cell dot rect dot x equals random. dot choice now when you need to select a random value between a list you use the choice method so random dot choice and here you have to simply pass our uh, list uh, sorry lane position okay finally cell dot rect dot y and for this what i am going to do is Uh, I will set it as minus negative hundred, okay, minus hundred. Then finally, we need to create a update method and a draw method. That's it. So let's just do it fast. Let dip update and self. Then we need a speed argument, okay. This will define how fast our incoming cars or roadblocks will move. Only thing we need to do is self dot rect dot y plus equals speed. And once it gets out of the window, if self dot rect dot y is greater than equal to hundred, sorry is greater than equal to height. Okay, so 
so you can just delete it currently we are just deleting it simply like this but we will change it later okay cell dot kill we just need to kill it finally we just need to draw the thing so def draw and here we need to pass self and then we need a window argument and win dot blit okay here we need to select the sorry pass the cell dot image and cell dot rect that will wait self dot rect that's it okay so uh, our class is nearly complete you can simply uh, import it here obstacle okay now we need to think of a way by which we can generate it again it's very easy here we have already implemented a way to generate trees at a certain interval of time when the value of counter is divisible by 60 we are just generating a tree similarly if counter is divisible by uh, let's say 90 this time mod by 90 is equal to 0 okay so if on dividing counter by 90 if the remainder is 0 then we will generate a obstacle okay now since we have three types of obstacles we have to generate a random obstacle uh, either the car or the roadblock or the barrel so now keep uh, see this what I'm going to do uh, first of all I'm just going to select a random value between uh, 1 2 3 random your choices we uh, here not I see I am using choices method not the choice method when you use the choices method it returns a list not a single value so we need to pass the value of type equals here uh, see the obstacle class takes a value type okay so we need to pass a random value between 1 2 or 3 if we are passing 1 it will be car if we are passing 2 it will be a barrel if we are passing 3 it will be a road block but I just don't want to uh, generate them this way okay here instead I will be using a biased method to generate these roadblocks or obstacles here I'll pass the extra argument called weights and here we have to pass three values and that will be 6 comma 2 comma 2 now what this 6 comma 2 comma 2 means it means there's a 60 percent chance that the obstacle generated will be car then 20 percent chance that it will be barrel and 20 percent chance that it will be a roadblock okay so basically we are just uh, getting biased here uh, so we are at 60 uh, percent of times a car will be generated 20 percent types of uh, barrel and 20 percent of times uh, road roadblock will be generated here we need to pass one more argument k equals one so it will generate number of uh, elements in the list so if we are passing one it will only generate one value in the list okay you can pass two to generate two values and since it's a list uh, which with only one element we can just select the zeroth element from this like this okay now this ops is storing a random value okay between one two or three so it's done now we can simply just create an object so obstacle is equal to obstacle class and we can simply pass the type here the next thing I'm going to do is we are just going to create a new group here and I'll call it obstacle group obstacle group is equal to and let me just copy these lines and paste it here copy and let's paste it here looks good so we can simply just uh, the, the obstacle that we have generated we can simply add it to the obstacle group so obstacle group dot add obstacle okay it looks good now the only thing that is needed is to update uh, our obstacles so we can just do the same thing let me just copy these lines paste it here and just let's just change the name obstacle group here since we are using a group all the elements that are all the objects that are inside the obstacle will be updated and drawn automatically so obstacle group dot draw win okay that's it now if I just run this it should do the job okay so see let's it see if it's working or not uh, we have an error obstacle attribute object has no attribute image okay so why it is and cell dot image we have this cell dot image and cell dot image we are facing some issue let's see what this is actually it's a very silly mistake i have done here we have to pass not type but ops value okay so yes let's try once again and let's just run this 
and this should generate either a car barrel or something okay so it's generating car it looks good okay so currently we are not checking for collision detection this generates a barrel but it's currently a offset okay we have to fix this thing it's not this colliding with the lane so yes it's generating randomly cars so see cars will be generated more times than barrels or roadblocks okay so it looks good okay in the next video we will be also adding nitro thing so we can speed our car for some times okay so barrels are being generated yes so see this is a roadblock okay so everything is fine every except that the barrel is little offset so i am just going to create a variable called dx and we will give it the initial value 0 okay and here if the value of cell type is equal to 2 i am just going to add uh, make ds equals 10 okay here i'll do a thing called uh, ds plus dx okay so for 1 and 3 there will be no dx okay for the if type is equal to 2 we are just making dx equals 10 so it will shift uh, the barrel to a little right side okay so it will not collide with the lane okay that's it so it will do the job now the one more thing is uh, currently I'm just recording this video so the game will run a little slower uh, if you have a faster RAM or faster processor the game will run more fast or if you are using or uh, running it on a laptop it will run uh, further fast okay so I want it to run at the same speed wherever you run it okay so for this we just set the value of frame for our game which we also call the frame per second FPS okay so you can define fps like this first of all you need to create a clock object clock equals pi game dot uh, time dot clock time dot clock then you need to define the fps for your game this is a simply a, a value so i'll just give it as a 30 okay so my game will run at 30 frames per second we have just defined here it's not running at 30 frames per second so just before we are updating our game window we have to write a last line that is clock dot tick fps okay let's just write it clock dot tick fps now what does this mean it means that in one second this while loop will run 30 times or you can say in one second uh, the frame, there will be 30 frames generated in our game okay so let's say if something is moving at a speed of 3 pixels per second 3 pixels per frame okay or 5 pixels per, per frame in one second it will move 30 into 5 pixels so 150 pixels okay so any object which is uh, moving at 5 pixels per frame it will move 150 pixels in one second okay so this is the concept of frames so basically this will limit the speed of the game for any type of uh, thing or device that you use it looks good in the next video we will be adding nitro to our game okay so it will just using this we will be able to speed up our car looks good so yes this is it yes see the barrel is now in the center of the lane yes. so yes this is working fine and it looks good so this is it for this video guys if you love this video leave a like or a dislike if you are new to my channel subscribe it thank you see you in the next tutorial